or it was utter ignorance. To refer to yourself as a, quote, greedy bastard, and laugh and jest about how you will spend the extra taxpayer money is appalling, and the residents of Lebanon deserve better than that. Amen. There seems to be no understanding of what North Berwick contributes to this community as a whole. First, they do pay their fair share with regard to student count. Second, North Berwick's industries such as Pratt & Whitney, Huzzy Seating, most recently Hannaford Brothers, are huge employers of our district parents. There seem to be no acknowledgement of that immense con contribution to our community. I have lived in this community and taught here long enough to recall when this was happening to us in Lebanon. I believe it was in or around 2007. It was a scary time to live in the district, to, to be a teacher in Lebanon. Um, I will be forever grateful to the town of Lebanon for advocating for us, the town of North Berwick for advocating for us, the town of Lebanon to stay in the district. I have to say in closing in the hundreds of municipal and legislative meetings I have participated in, <coughs> I have never witnessed anything so unprofessional as that public meeting. I absolutely understand North Berwick's distrust <coughs> moving forward. If there is anything I can personally do to assist in rectifying the situation in any way, I will commit to that. Thank you for allowing me to speak tonight. You're up next. Uh, Stan Collin, um, I'm, I sit on the SAS 60 board from North Berwick. And just to clarify a point for the public record, um, and you may want to comment on this stuff in this chair, um, we were not at all informed of any kind of meeting between uh, Berwick and Lebanon. We never had any opportunity to discuss this. Our discussion came after the fact, um, after this meeting was held. So, because uh, I know the implication is, or statement's been made apparently, uh, that that uh, we didn't want to deal with the matter. We had no idea that this whole matter was being discussed. So can I just ask quickly before you sit down, um, or while you sit down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what, what happened at that school board meeting where you guys did discuss it recently? Uh, what was the outcome of that discussion? <laughs> um, I, no question that the three representatives from Berwick and Lebanon were as, uh, you know, angry about it as the three of us from North Berwick. I mean, we were really blindsided, and Steve certainly was as superintendent. It was uh, at a time of the year when this is a difficult time for us anyways, you know, working on the budget um, and other matters to uh, have this issue thrown into the mix was uh, really difficult. Um, personally, I'm, I'm outraged. I was, I was extremely angry when I learned that, that uh, needless to say, our town manager was not at all made aware of uh, this meeting let alone invited to it. So, and Steve was certainly <laughs> blindsided by it, the superintendent. Did you guys vote on anything in regards to this? No, no. I mean, there was no... Um, it's, uh, it's difficult for me to express how angry I really am about this. Because there's no consideration on those two boards for the welfare of the kids in this school district and the work that's done by, you know, the staff. Um, and, uh, you know, I was not happy to say the least that there'd be any discussion like this. And in terms of per pupil cost, as this will be gone over shortly, uh, North Berwick pays more than its fair share per pupil. Good evening, everybody. My name is Dustin Price. I'm a board member from the town of Berwick. I'm also the chair this year. 
And while some folks have been very gentle with how they describe this meeting, I was not quite so when I posted on Facebook and notified Representative O'Connor. Um, you mentioned uh, loss of trust. I think there's loss of trust on the citizens of Berwick who watched their representatives act cowardly, absolutely cowardly, and motivated by greed. Um, but I want to rep the school board with the three towns is so collaborative. None of us ever thought about, well, we only have so much money in the budget, Berwick's going to get their share. It's all of our kids together, because like she had said, we're stronger together, noble strong. North Berwick is part of that community. I think that this was the action of short-sightedness and not under just no understanding of how this funding works and short memories. People don't, the Lebanon folks don't remember that Lebanon was in this seat not long ago. And North Berwick came to the rescue. And it's, it's absolutely shameful. I was disgusted with them. There's no, I mean, I can't strong, as strongly enough tell you that everyone I've talked to about Burroughs is disgusted about it. We're being misrepresented by a couple of cowards, just to put it that way, to not bring it to the table up front. If, even if bad information aside, they actually thought that they were getting the short end of the stick, <coughs> it's just a conversation with all three towns. That's how it should have happened. It didn't happen, and I apologize. For, I, I wish they were here to apologize, but they're not. So the February 6th meeting that you spoke at and um, Superintendent Conley spoke at, you guys were unaware of the meeting at that time? You mean just, that just because. I think you had just become aware. Just yeah. become aware. Yeah, just. Hadn't even watched it yet. He watched it and informed me of a couple things that were on it and gave me the, the, the tidbits. First thing I did is I wrote an email to the uh, town manager because we had just talked about better communication. You know, ideas on how the school board and the town of Berwick aren't communicating correctly, and we need to get better at this, and this is the first thing that happens, is this. And then giant caps, this is not how communication works, and just did, did my best to offload, because I'm not as gentle and well-spoken as other people. <laughs> um, and then had to be sure I was at the meeting where Representative Plant, who I thought represented it, what civility should have been. You know, he said that this was not an act of good faith, you know, we were part of a partnership, and this was, and he just immediately shut down by Pendergast and Wright, which shouldn't have happened. So I really believe we're not going to see two people get reelected after this one, because I don't think this goes away. That's as that shameful as I've ever seen. And uh, Noble would not be the same without North Broadway. Your kids are our kids. You know, and uh, I'm not going to get emotional and stand up here much longer. But as the board chair, I'm ashamed of my town. And I wanted to come here to apologize for them, do my best to, you know, we are stronger when all three of us are together. And I hope you find some way to absolutely protect your interests, but not to separate the strong. In so, the city um, before you, <laughs> well, you can sit, but I had a problem. It's okay. I need to get my steps. My doctor's very adamant about that. Um, as a school board and as being chair of the school board, um, would you ever consider um, bringing a vote like this uh, before the people? Because you a you vote like what? <laughs> to change the funding formula. So the, the funding formula is a public, so that's not school board purview. From what I understand, it's not a school board issue yeah. whatsoever. That has to be right. something that goes through legislation and is voted by the public. You know, we, as a school board, our majority is just to present what we think is the most fiscally responsible budget for you folks to approve. You know, at a, uh, at a minimum, I'm sure you're going to get a really, really colorful set of minutes from our next meeting. As you know, we, we let fly, but this, other than maybe a formal censure or something like that, that we can put something a formal statement together. But we can't do anything as a board with changing the formula. Right. That's out of our, right. that's out of our power. And I think it, you know, and again, you know, just the actions I think of, of the Burke Select Board just reflects the, their total ignorance of the history um, mm -hmm. of how this district was formed um, and how and, funding works. And, Right, and in, 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 to me, the you know the biggest travesty of this is to to um, totally totally you know disregard um, Dwayne's involvement in this and, and the amount of information that he could have brought to their discussion. Uh, it's appalling um, because you know we certainly are well aware you know having had the benefit of you know his the information he has brought certainly to this board um, about the potential. Um, for disruption. I mean, we're already seeing it within this meeting tonight. But you know, in looking at you know, expanding that across the community, I mean, they have no idea what what they've created here. Well, I think
think they're starting to figure that out. I hope that they have figured that out. But just everything they're doing is not only deceiving you, but they intended to deceive the public as well. If you look at the wording of their horrible legislation, it doesn't mention anything about it sounds so reasonable. Hey, would you like to change this old law to something the rest of the state does? Who wouldn't want that? Why? Of course. So your uneducated voter is going to, and bad things would happen. You know, it was disingenuous to you. It's disingenuous to us. And um, I'm really thankful for televised meetings because we would have never That's known right. otherwise. Yeah. Thank you. One second. I saw a hand over here. I do. Right. No. I'll get to you next. Okay. Um, <laughs> Time sequence is not my great I think it's that 60 thing. That that was, uh, <laughs> it happened to 52 <laughs> <laughs> so, so it, was, it was either after the end of the last school year or the start of this school year. Um, Finance Director Maureen Finger and Town Manager Steve Eldridge asked to speak with me about uh, funding. Um, so Denise Van Camp and the business managers who Austin and I met at my office with these folks and uh, there was an explanation from Ms. Finger about the um, 20A uh, approach to school funding which probably 85% of the school districts in the state follow. We explained what uh, the private and special chapter 67 law was, how that worked. We, uh, I also explained that when asked about what's my stance 